So in this session I will show you how to infer the drop-in model using your own drop-in data. So this session will be about selecting the probability of drop-in value and the drop-in hyperparameter lambda value. It is also important to know the detection threshold in RFU you are using. In this session we are using 50 RFU. So what you need to do first is to create a file with your drop-in data. So we have created a file here with all the elements in the file given us the peak height of the drop-in allele. So we have here all the peak heights which are considered as drop-in above 50 RFU. So by putting the drop-in data file on the desktop I can easily run my script, the drop-in model script here. So here I define different numbers. The big N is the number of samples which are used to count the number of drop-ins. The big L is number of uh, markers for the sample and big T is the detection threshold. I put them into the R and I read in the file, the drop-in data file here on the desktop and all the drop-in data is given in the X vector. So what I do now is that small n is the number of drop-in out of all the samples which is 80 and from this I can use the formula for big C. So we go back to the script again. So this is given as 0.00036. So this is the number I will write in the settings here. The default probability of drop-in 0.00036. So that's the first part of the model. So now I will show you how to infer the second part of the model. That is to estimate the lambda parameter. So the formula for hyperparameter lambda is given as small n divided by the sum of all the drop-in peak heights shifted by the detection threshold big T. So I go back to the script here and I write this code and lambda is given as 0.02. So our results are estimated drop-in probability 0.00036 and estimated hyperparameter lambda 0.02. So that is the second part of the model and I click save. And now the drop-in model for Euroformix should be calibrated for the drop-in data we have obtained here. You can also look on how the drop-in peak heights are distributed. This can be achieved by running the last part of the code here. So all this code here will be put in the description.